about how you can leverage Management Group for an at-scale usage of Azure Policy. By using Management Group, you can make a single policy assignment to impact hundreds of subscriptions and all of its resources. For example, in this environment, I have some management groups that I've created called Contoso, where I have a children management groups underneath of it, and have some subscriptions that belong to the management group. You can see the same hierarchy that I have on the policy, policy experience as well, where here you can see that for the Contoso management group, I have some children uh, management groups underneath of it. If I take a look at the Contoso management group, I can see that I'm currently 30% compliant against my organizational standards, and I have a tagging initiative for the standard tag should be applied. Looking at the compliance results, I'm currently 30% compliant across all of my organization. But by drilling down to an individual subscription, let's say that I am responsible for a Contoso IT subscription. The compliance result that I see in this case will be scoped down to that particular subscription that I need to be compliant against. Now, let's say that I'm an application owner and I do not have access to the management group. I can still see the policy that I am being evaluated against so that I know how compliant my resources are and ensure that I'm abiding by the organizational standards. Of course, we abide by RBAC and the resources that I can see are restricted to the resources that I have access to. For example, if I only have access to the Contoso IT subscription, I will see that I'm 25% compliant against this initiative rather than being able to see the 30% compliance for the entire organization. Another benefit of leveraging management group is the fact that application owner does not have the rights to delete this assignment. All they can do is to see their compliance result and they can also see who has assigned the policy so they can follow up with the person if necessary to request exclusion. And that is it for a quick overview on how you can leverage policy with management group. See additional guidance on our Azure documentation page.